Hello, my name is Richard Kent. Um, I want to talk to you today about the electrical design of our human bodies. Um, before I talk about the electrical design of our human bodies, I want to talk about the world in which we find ourselves today. We're surrounded by electronic gadgets of one form or another. Every day you use your laptop, every day you use your phone, every day you turn on the television, every day you get into a car or a train or a bus, every day you turn on the lights. Um, electronic gadgets are everywhere and we think how clever we are in the 21st century to have all these electronic gadgets. Well, let me tell you that God has much more powerful electronic gadgets in our bodies than we can possibly think of. And these are much, much more carefully designed. Much, much more carefully designed. So we'll start with our brains. Our brains weigh about three pounds um, and actually consume about 20% of the energy in our bodies. But the ele electrical design of our brain is such that you could actually uh, run a 12 volt light bulb off our brains. Um, but this, it's micro circuitry. Our brain is actually made of lots of nerve cells called neurons and uh, the, new, the electrical impulses travel along the whole body at 250 miles an hour. Um, I'll come back to the nervous system, but let's now look at the heart. Now, our heart regularly contracts and relaxes 70 times a minute, and this is controlled by a very, very complex electrical system um, initiating at the um, sinoatrial node uh, down the bundle of his, and we doctors record um, the electrocardiogram um, as an electrical uh, event which happens 70 times a minute in your heart. There's a particular signature, if you like, the PQRST complex of the ECG, and it's a very, very complex uh, designed electroconduct so that the two atria and the two ventricles of the heart actually contract and relax at the same, uh, at the appropriate times. Um, let's look at uh, our muscles. Now our muscles contract and relax all the time and it's all to do with electrical conductivity and depolarization and repolarization in our cells. Let's come back now to our brains. Uh, you may have heard of electroencephalograms. Um, that's a, a, an electrical recording of your brain and it's very, very complex. There's, uh, uh, the, the, what's actually going on electronically in your brain is highly, highly complex. But I want to tell you something that's even more complex, which is how God has designed our nerves. Now, in, in the wiring in our house or our television or whatever, um, electrons simply pass through metal or silver or gold wires. That's not actually what happens in our nerves. What actually happens is, is depolarization of our nerves. And I'll try and explain very simply that potassium ions move into the cells sodium ions move out of the cells so that the, the polarity of the, um, the nerve cell goes from minus 40 millivolts to plus 40 millivolts and this wave of depolarization travels along the nerve at 250 miles an hour. The retina at the back of the eye is, is, consists of rods and cones and this uh, converts uh, photons into electronic images which are sent to our brain electronically. God has thought about electronics long before we have and done a far better job than we have. Thanks for listening and God bless you.